Here we are at Powder 7 World Headquarters in Golden, Colorado. I'm Matt. I'm Alex. And we are pitting popular skis head to head against each other in an effort to help you make better buying decisions and have more fun on snow. What you got, Alex? We like fun on snow. Uh, I've got two very, very popular women's skis up here for the front side. I have the Nordica Santa Ana 88 on the left and then the Blizzard Black Pearl 88 on the right. Both have been super popular for years, tried and true. They haven't seen, they've gotten some refinements, but haven't seen major overhauls or anything like that. Um, the Blizzard Black Pearl 88 has been one of the most popular women's skis for years now. And I think that just has to do with how fun and accessible it is. It's super easy to hop on at like a budding intermediate level and have a great time and feel very confident on it. Um, it has a very, it has a lot of side cut here and a pretty quick turn radius. So it's very nimble and quick to turn. As soon as you want to think about taking a turn, it's there right there with you. But it's also very stable and locked into the snow. They use a true blend wood core and some carbon in here to kind of dampen it, make sure you feel nice and stable, even if things are a little bit firmer than you might want out, out there. Santa Ana, on the other hand, actually has a metal construction. So Nordica uses what they call their terrain specific metal. So as the Santa Anas get wider, they go all the way up to 110, you actually get less and less metal. So the 88 has a pretty solid sheet of metal under there. It doesn't go quite all the way to the side, but pretty solid in there. And it does make the ski a little bit stiffer, a little bit more demanding, uh, but ultimately a little bit more stable, especially on firm snow. Or if you're dealing with like, choppy chunky bumps you know after a couple of days after a storm this is going to kind of plow through that stuff a little bit better but again it does feel a little bit more demanding i think the biggest difference between the two is you could hop on the black pearl with a little less experience and have a great time um, but as you progress and progress you could kind of start to grow out of this one a little bit whereas the santa ana um, is going to feel like a little bit more right out of the gate but something you could grow with very well for sure um, have you read either of these men uh, I rode the Black Pearl about four years ago, <clears throat> and I rode the Santa Ana, the fourth and never. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Alex is doing a great job. The Black Pearl, though, I, I shouldn't say that you'll grow out of it because, like, I love this ski. It was really energetic and, again, really smooth riding, actually. I was really impressed with it. And it's also a lot lighter on your feet, too. The Santa Ana does feel like you're moving a ski around with metal, um, whereas the blizzard black pearl feels a little bit quicker more responsive a little bit more nimble is one better than the other for kind of exploring maybe in trees or back bowls or stuff like that yeah good question i probably lean to more towards the santa Ana 88 just because it has a little bit more stance to it to kind of deal with those deeper snow conditions and kind of more variable snow conditions honestly um the blizzard black pearl because it feels so light on your feet can sometimes feel like it won't track as well if you're trying to ski it um, and I would say if you're trying to ski it aggressively through that stuff, if you're looking to just kind of explore and skip around um, without spending most of your time there, you can still totally get by on the Black Pearl. Yeah. Noted. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Key advice for you, Matt. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make a big buying decision this year. Yeah, <clears throat> truly. Sweet. Um, well, thank you very much, Alex. I was pretty useless in this one, everybody, but uh, great. Another great video from Powder 7. If you want to see more head to head ski comparisons, soft goods fashion shows, buyer's guide content, hit that subscribe button down in the description and you will be the first to know uh, whether or not you do that. Have a great winter out there.